Hey Explorers, this is Steve with Explorer Land again. I'm going to continue my little tour here in Deep Dean Park. You know what Yogi used to say? If you come to a fork in the road, take it. Okay, so which side should we go? One side takes you up, up, the, up to the ridge there on Ponce de Leon Avenue. And if you can, I don't know if I can see it. Yeah, you can barely see it. See that little roof right there? That is an old trolley stop, like one of the original trolley stops that was on Ponce de Leon Avenue. So that's where you get if you go to the right, but I'm gonna to go to the left because there's a really cool bridge, kind of a footbridge. It's a really a stone bridge that goes across the stream. I think you might enjoy. Uh, this is Deep Dean Park. I'm in Deep Dean Park in Druid Hills. And this is part of the Olmsted Linear Park, which runs uh, right along Ponce de Leon Avenue. It's a beautiful park designed by Frederick Law Olmsted Sr. Back in the very late 1800s when Druid Hills was, was uh, being developed by Joel Hurt. You may remember that. Joel Hurt developed uh, Inman Park and he also developed uh, Druid Hills. And he had Frederick Law Olmsted design Druid Hills for him. And this is... This, this park system here is the centerpiece of the neighborhood design. So anyway, here we are. This is the stream that runs right down in the, in the bottom of the ravine, which is Deep Dean. So let me walk you across here. It's really kind of cool. So there's about, ooh, this thing is, that rock has kind of given way there. It's a little treacherous. So bear with me here. Uh, there's several of these little crossings um, all up in here. So, uh, you know, all through the park here, you go up, you just follow this uh, path, and it crisscrosses. Here's another one right here. In fact, I'll, I'll go down this and come back around and give you a loop. But what happens in here, this is an old growth forest, right, which means there's some very old trees. And oh, I love this one. Look at this. And so what happens is when the trees fall in here, unless they're blocking a path or something, they basically leave them here. Which if you've ever been out in any of the national parks, that's pretty much what the forestry does. They just let the tree kind of return to the earth. It's all part of the cycle of these forests which regenerate from time to time. So in this, in this forest here, uh, you do have some old growth, but you also have some medium growth and some new growth. Like, look at these trees right here. Look how cool that is. That looks, I don't know, that came around maybe a couple years ago. There was a storm that came through here a couple years ago and kind of tore this park up a little bit. But um, it's looking better. It looks like it's been cleaned up. It's, you can see, like, this, this path would have been blocked, and you can actually see where they cut pieces out of this one tree just so that they could, uh, you know, so that people could pass. Uh, pass. But... Um, the rest of the tree is going to just stay, basically. I mean, A, it would be impossible to get it out of here, and B, it needs to stay so that it can become part of the... Uh... So in this forest, like in many of the forests here in Atlanta, you have these little ta tags. Um, these are usually there's a, a little bit of a ribbon, a little plastic ribbon that shows a marker here. This is part of a project called the Champion Tree Project, which was spearheaded by Trees Atlanta and a, a forester and a botanist, I don't know if he's a botanist, but anyway, he's a, he's a tree expert. His name is Eli Dickerson. And Eli's come through here and, and basically measured and cored all of these big trees to determine how old they are and what kind they are. And the, the tag there is part of an inventory system that Trees Atlanta maintains for a, a lot of the forests in Atlanta. And there's a lot more than you, than you might think. There are lots of them. I mean, they're, 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 you know, this one's probably, I forget what it is, less than 20 acres. But uh, there's quite a few that are much smaller than that, where you do have some old trees. Those are just scattered throughout Atlanta. And uh, all of the, I mean, most of them have been, have been tagged and, and studied and measured and all that good stuff. So they keep an eye on how old things are and they keep an eye on the trees themselves. They come back periodically and, and see how they're doing. So anyway, this is Deep Dean Park, part of the Olmsted Linear Park. Ah! And this is a really cool place. If you like to just kind of play, climb on trees and climb across rocks and stuff like that, this is a pretty cool little place to come. 
So, and you definitely get away from it all. It's very quiet in here. The leaves are starting to come back in. Um, <clears throat> one of the reasons most people don't know about it is because it is down in this ravine. And when you drive down Ponce de Leon Avenue, you really can't tell it's here. I mean, in the summer when the trees are filled, you have no idea this park is here. It's, uh, and as you can see, uh, of course, you know, it's in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis right now. But uh, I've only seen maybe six people the whole time I've been here, which is about half an hour. So anyway, this is Steve from Explore Atlanta. Hope you're enjoying this. Hope you're staying safe. And hope you can get out here and check out Deep Dean Park and the other uh, segments of, of the Olmstead Linear Park. There are six of them starting down at uh, Briarcliff Road, uh, Moreland and, and Briarcliff. That's, that's the first one. And it comes, this is the last one going east. So check them out. This is Steve with Explore Atlanta. Have a great day.